right, bro. Welcome to Serbia, guys. We are back in the Balkans. And as you guys know, we've been to Kosovo, we've been to Albania and North Macedonia. But now it's time for a special country here in the Balkans. Zdravo, guys. Like you say here in Serbia. And look at this godlike weather. So guys, we're in Belgrade and today we're gonna explore this awesome city. A city with a long and eventful history. So guys, I think it's time to explore Serbia. Let's go. We're here in the main park of Belgrade with the nice castle overview. You have a look of the whole city. And so far you see there's also a lot of tourists going on. That and remembers me <laughs> from our last trip, guys. A lot of Chinese people here. Oh. I swear we saw so many Chinese not just tourists i think they live here or do some business here oh. i don't know but it's interesting to see so greetings to our chinese followers guys you know we've been in china in our last country it was really nice and yeah but now it's time for something different something I'm totally different i have to be back in the balkans i'm really looking forward to the food it's totally different oh, to the chinese cuisine some chi -chi, guys. Oh, yeah. oh my god i really have to say i love the balkan food we had a little break in germany with our family after china but but now it's time to go back adventuring so let's explore this castle a little bit and then head into the city oh good oh good sim, sim. Good. <laughs> hello uh, okay go pro, go sim, sim. okay guys every bed some for, for china ni hao ni hao ma ni hao ni hao some fellow you're, tourists you're guys tourist. you are tourists here in serbia uh no uh i work uh, yes, yes. Work. Work. Ah, okay. okay, guys. So really interesting. Picture time. Picture time. Nice. Very nice. Guys, what a funny encounter. I really have to say. We were just talking about this group walking by, and we talked about China and this one uncle. What you just saw? Hey, hey, ni hao. So funny, I swear. And it's so cool to have been in China now. So it's really cool to see a lot of Chinese guys. I also heard something like they signed a trade uh, contract here with Serbia and China. So they have like better trade routes. You can maybe explain us in the comment what exactly it is because there's so many Chinese people here now. Wow, look at this. Awesome. Yeah, and you can see here from the castle all over the city. This is around the bus station where we came from the airport and you can see there's also a lot of condos being built modern area um, i think so serbia has i think two sides the old monuments and the really like historic um, buildings um, and also a little bit like um, i have to say some buildings you see really they're old and not good maintained. they're in the ages yeah, yeah they're ages and the new one the new serbia oh. the new background so i'm hyped to explore both and yeah but we first start i think with the monuments This looks actually Who's super that cool. <laughs> Who's that guy? But epic. <laughs> and guys, this reminds me of Albania. Now you remember? <laughs> Bunker hub of the world, guys. The most bunkers ever. <laughs> I swear. In Albania, we saw so many bunkers. And here, this is actually the first one. Um, but it's a really interesting park slash um, castle. So really nice first impression. And this castle area is actually super massive. The whole park inside. I thought it was only one building, but it's like really a huge, huge area. You can see there's like multiple walls around here. So I think we've done a lot of walking, guys. So let's head back into the city and grab something to eat. The food culture and also, as you can see, the vegetation and climate is fairly similar to Germany. So for us, it's a blessing here. It's not too hot. It's really, like, like really... Currently in China, it's like, I think, 40 degrees. Yeah. So we said like, okay, I Cannot. think we skip, we skip China for, for, for now. And uh, maybe later when it's a little bit colder. But guys, oh, lovely to be here, lovely weather. And I think also lovely food. Serbia is definitely a really proud nation. Everywhere you can see the flag here in the city, in the downtown. And it's really nice to see. You see the colors of the nation everywhere, guys. And are we guys part of the nation, guys? A funny side fact, Noah and me are actually fully German. We are 100% German. And in Asia and all on the other countries we've been, a lot of you guys said we look like from Balkans. And we have to say we blend in very well here we get um talked to always in serbian we only get talked to in serbian so that's really funny for us because in all the other countries we were always like the tourists and here if we don't speak we don't get recognized and the 
city is full of graffiti. Every building here you see at the bottom floor is painted. So that's also a thing we never saw in China. Now that we think back about it, not one time I saw graffiti in China. And overall, that's what I meant at the start. Like the, the buildings look a lot like a little bit of like rundown. Like they used to be really prestigious and really like nice, old school nice. Um, but a little bit like the renovation, the renovation is a little bit lacking. Yeah, needed. yeah, you can see it maybe up top there. But I have to say the monuments, they all look great. Like the big parliament buildings, the old temples, the castle now. They look all amazing, but like the living complexes, they are not renovated as often it seems. Here yeah, guys, that's a contrast. Really nice building suddenly. Super good area, Super guys. Super vibey here, Rest nice around. music. It also lo it almost looks like Italy, guys. Wow, wow, wow. That looks really nice here. I like this area. Who's that guy? Michael Jackson. <laughs> Serbian Michael Jackson. <laughs> but they have a lot of singing. Fancy. They have a lot of singing and dancing in their culture here, yeah, I think. Definitely. It's a, it's a long lasting culture. But what we've noticed so far is there are a lot of churches. And I think these are all Orthodox churches. When in our time in Kosovo, there were so many mosques. So that's also like a really big difference we noticed here in Serbia. Serbian beer guys, the Germans have to try that. Serbian draft beer. Cheers on that. Upset sir. That's nice wow. beer. Really good. Oh. Really herb, like oh. really like um, strong taste, very strong taste. But I really have to say I like this restaurant. We found this little restaurant here. Yeah. And they always do like this on the street, this like terrace. And they have a terrace on the street and then it's inside like a big dining area. So first Serbian restaurant guys, of course I ordered some Jumapchichi. It's like the most famous thing here. I ordered some type of goulash, I think it's with smashed potatoes. We German love potatoes, so guys. In the Balkans you will always be happy as a German when it comes to food. So let's see what does awaits and later what the price is. Damn guys, that looks good. I got the Shopska salad. I don't know if I pronounce it right the name, but it looks amazing. And I got some type of goulash. Wow, that looks really good. And we got some bread and now I have the classic chivapchi with chichi. onions guys. Oh yeah man. That's I swear the meat in the Balkans is always on top. So let's give it a try. Oh yeah. Wow. Five chivapchi inside, right? Five pieces with oh, onions yeah. and some sour cream. And the meat is so juicy guys. I swear the Balkan people they can do the meat. The Serbian meat is great, huh? Oh, amazing. I think that's one of the most famous dishes you can get here. Yeah, in I think Serbia. it's everywhere. You can wow. get it as a fast food and in good restaurants like this. So guys, let's enjoy this. What a funny cup. Oh, that reminds me of Greek salad, guys. This cheese is really good. What kind of cheese is this? I really don't know. Tastes like really like goat cheese. But overall, amazing taste, Noah. Are you happy? 10 out of 10 happy. Food is empty, you see, already gone. Beer is also empty. Mine not, but we emptied it. Really good. Food was really good, I have to say, like I expected it to be. And now we ordered a rakia, a shot, like you drink it here. And the waiter said um, she's gonna bring something special, so let's see what she brings. So we got a mixed holy rakia. Holy. I think the Serbians love to drink, guys. <laughs> so, prost. prost. Prost on that, guys. 12 Cheers. years old, she said. 12 years ripened, aged. So on to you guys, on to Serbia. Cheers. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's good. Strong. But okay, not too strong. Really good. Plum. I like plum. And she said health benefits guys. So always drink your rakia. So guys, outside of the restaurant. Super delicious food, I really have to say. I really like it. The beer was also super good. It was 30 euros, so that's okay price. So let us definitely know where we can eat for a little bit cheaper. I saw a lot of bakeries, so we want to try that also. Maybe tomorrow in the morning, get some breakfast. And uh, yeah, now it's time to maybe get a haircut. Noah, 
Should we get one? And in the Balkans, guys, you also have to adapt. We have to put the hair on zero, guys, again. Getting a barber shop is not as easy as we thought it's gonna be here in Belgrade. <laughs> we were in seven barber shops, guys, and no appointment. What appointment? Yeah. We say like we need uh, we need a haircut, simple haircut. Oh, no appointment available till four days. We need to make appointment. What is this? I want haircut. We're still looking guys, but it really doesn't look too good. Like the earliest we had is like in four hours and we honestly don't wait, want to wait for hours to go to a barber shop. So let's see if we can find one. We're now walking into a little bit more local area, looking for a barber shop there. Maybe they have some free time for us. Okay guys, we finally found the barber. First barber we could go and walk in. So let's get a little bit of a Serbian haircut. Let's get a fade in. You need and Serbian haircut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? The best Serbian haircut you can do with here zero, okay? Okay. With a fade. Okay guys, I think we're in good hands. Let's start. Okay guys, look at this. I look like a, like the goulash bowl I look like. <laughs> <laughs> How much money if I leave it like this, guys? You think yes. I will get hit if I go inside? We've got the coffee here. Oh. Really good power. Oh, it's super, it's super friendly. We have to drop the nice name. Nice talks. Is this yeah. your name? What's the name here? Street Barber Shop. Street Barber Shop. I will show it from outside, guys. Really, really nice service so far. And let's see how the haircut turns out. But what? Monkey. Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Noah, we can oh. offer the Rakia from the street, even with the street barber name. <laughs> That's some real hospitality here. <laughs> Let's drink a shot. Is this your own Rocky? Yeah, it's my Rocky. Self made? Yeah. Wow. Family made. Okay, okay, okay. You don't want one. Prost. Prost in Germany yeah. we say prost, what do you say here in Serbia? Prost, really? Yeah. What? Yeah. Really? Okay. Oh, that's good. Plum? Is it plum? What? Plum Rocky. Wow, really good. Really good. That's a second Rocky in one day. <laughs> okay guys, we are finished. What do you say? Clean sides, everything on zero, a little bit German-like here, Serbian-German mixture, as always, very good work from the boss and the novice, <laughs> thank you very much, super, super good, so let's see how much we pay, how much is it? 1,500. Okay, perfect. Dinner. So, <laughs> dinner. No, not euro. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, let's pay it up. Street barber shop here. In a little more local area of Belgrade, what epic guys, I swear. So let's to the guys, oh. really friendly. As always here so far in Serbia, I really have to say people here are really friendly. We got um, a nice talk, they give us some information about Serbia, uh, where we have to go, what we have to eat. They even give us a rakia, <laughs> really friendly. The second rakia of the day guys, oh, oh and a really good haircut. I have to say really, that was such a luck that we got it here. Five barbers said no and we got the best one as the last one, so I think we're what ready. Do you think about the haircut? Oh, I really like it. I think it's good. I think it's good. I think we're ready for Serbia, guys. What a lovely city. What a good first impression, guys. I really have to say, I have good vibes here in Serbia so far. And I think that's gonna be it for the first video, guys. Leave us some recommendations what we should do here in Serbia, what we should see, what we should eat. And we see you in the next video, guys. And as always, like, share, subscribe, and see you in the next video out of Serbia.